Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, paid a visit to the BDF General Command. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, and senior officers. His Majesty the King was informed about plans and future programs to develop the BDF units and weaponry. He paid tribute to the BDF personnel for their loyalty and dedication, thanking them for their efforts to protect the nation and its achievements. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's keenness on prevalence of peace and security across the region and the world, wishing the BDF personnel continuous success and Bahrain more growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 1 of 2022, amending some provisions of Decree 69 of 2004 on restructuring the Interior Ministry. In Article 1, the text of Item 11 of Decree 69 of 2004 shall be amended as follows. Customs Affairs, which includes the Customs President, who oversees the Directorate of Monitoring and Performance Follow-up, the Directorate of Communication and Strategic Planning, and the General Directorate of Customs Inspection and Security, which includes Directorate of Seaports Customs. Customs, Directorate of Airports Customs, Directorate of Land Ports Customs, and Directorate of Customs Security, followed by the General Directorate of Customs Clearance and Services, which includes Directorate of Customs Compliance and Risks, Directorate of Customs Licenses and Customer Service, and Directorate of Customs Clearance, followed by the General Directorate of Resources and Information Systems, which includes the Directorate of Training and Development, the Directorate of Financial Resources, the Directorate of Information Systems, and the Directorate of Human Resources and administrative affairs. In Article 2, a new item shall be added to Article 1 of Decree 69 of 2004, and the rest of the items shall be renumbered accordingly as follows. The General Directorate of Verdict Enforcement and Alternative Sentencing, which includes Directorate of Alternative Sentencing, Directorate of Coordination and Legal Follow-up, and Directorate of Verdict Enforcement. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Alba, Sheikh Daij bin Salman bin Daij Al Khalifa, and the Chief Executive Officer of Alba, Ali Al Bakali, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to supporting and developing the industrial sector to enhance its role in the national economy. He noted that the sector has a skilled workforce whose efforts contribute to the realization of Bahrain's comprehensive development plan led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The meeting marked the 50th anniversary of Alba's establishment and Sheikh Daij presented a souvenir to His Royal Highness to celebrate the occasion. His Royal Highness praised the company's achievements throughout the past 50 years which have strengthened Bahrain's position in the global aluminum and manufacturing industries. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of the chairman, the board of directors and Alba's employees for the company's success and wished them further success in its future endeavors. He affirmed the kingdom's commitment to developing its industrial infrastructure due to the sector's critical role in providing job opportunities for the people of Bahrain. He noted that Bahrain will continue to nurture promising sectors in line with the economic recovery plan to benefit the kingdom's competitiveness and attract further investment. For his part, Sheikh Daij bin Salman expressed thanks to His Royal Highness for his support of Alba. He also praised His Royal Highness's commitment to developing and championing Bahrain's industrial sector. The chairman of Rajat Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. 
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health, Faiq Al Saleh, and the head of the Cardiac Electrophysiology Department at the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialist Cardiac Center, and President of the Sports Cardiology Conference, Dr. Adil Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain dedicates considerable attention to athletes in light of its programs aimed at increasing achievements in various sports, adding that the kingdom is keen on providing an ideal healthy environment. He stated that holding the Sports Cardiology Conference affirms Bahrain's keenness on diagnosing the medical aspect of athletes' hearts and its endeavors to find solutions that are suitable for all sports practices. His Highness hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Health, the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialist Cardiac Center, and the Supreme Council for Health for organizing the conference and the national awareness campaign. He asserted that the unified efforts contributed to achieving the conference's goals and producing important outcomes that will contribute to protecting athletes. During the meeting, His Highness received the recommendations of the conference and affirmed that they will be studied thoroughly. For her part, the Minister of Health commended His Highness's interest and patronage of the conference. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting chaired by its speaker, Fozia Zainal. The Council approved a draft law adding a new article to the panel co penal code. A draft law on mental health was also approved. The Council approved a draft law amending paragraph A of Law 19 of 2006 on the regulation of the labor market. The Council also approved the issuance of the statement on the occasion of the anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard. During his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain and in a special interview with Bahrain International Television, the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Duarte Pacio, met with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and commended His Royal Highness's efforts to building upon the success of Bahrain's comprehensive development plan and strengthening cooperation between the Council of Representatives, the Shura Council, and regional and international legislative institutions. Also a very important point to see that uh, we are talking not just about uh, uh, principles, but about concrete actions. And concrete action, all the reforms that you have in course to reinforce democracy, to reinforce the, uh, the human rights in your country, to, but also the, the projects to defend your culture. Uh, His Highness show to us that uh, he knows quite well what is necessary to do and the things that uh, uh, may, may happen and may change to, have, uh, to achieve the results you wish, not for him, but for, uh, for your people. It was uh, very important and I believe that the cooperation, again, with uh, the parliamentarians and with your parliament will be very successful because uh, he sees the, the parliament as a partner, uh, a partner get, that may uh, sometimes agree, sometimes disagree, but with, with open discussion, he will uh, identify the best route uh, road to go. Uh, uh, and this is what we believe also in IPU. During the same interview, the IPU president affirmed his commitment to approve the kingdom's request to host one of IPU's general assemblies in 2023. You have a strong democracy with reforms. And allow me to say reforms because it is always important to do it. Not because uh, the, the, the model was a, a bad model, but because we have changed in our society. What is... Uh, today important, will not be the same uh, in 2030, in 2040. So, in 2040, of course, th they need to adapt again because the reality is completely different of 2022. Absolutely. And uh, so, reforms are always important and your, uh, your leaders uh, has this open mind uh, as an open mind to do reforms, to adapt to the reality, and I just need to say, uh, to congratulate you, you because of that. 
The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, paid an inspection visit to the development and service projects in the Southern Governorate, which comes within a package of projects supporting the objectives and comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. He affirmed the Ministry's continuous efforts to secure access to all sustainable development services in the Kingdom, noting the government's keenness to continue communication between officials and citizens through field visits to fulfill their needs. The Minister indicated that work is underway to implement a number of development projects in the Southern and governorate to achieve the aspirations of citizens, the improve of quality of life in residential areas. He also indicated that the project will serve residents and contribute to improving the quality of roads and maintaining the existing road network. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, opened the ASCON control owned by Ahmad Group in the presence of the Indian Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Piyush Sri Bastava. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain welcomes investments which contribute to boosting economic growth. Zayani highlighted the package of facilities of incentives granted by the government to bolster Bahrain's standing as an investment destination. He stressed the importance of the strategy with ch which launched recently that aims to increase the contribution of the industrial sector in the GDP, boost exports, create rewarding jobs for citizens and support the transformation of the vital sector to enter the fourth industrial revolution. The inauguration ceremony was also attended by Ahmed Group General Manager Pampa Vassan Nair, ASCON control board members and other senior officials. The minister commended the standard of the factory which is specialized in manufacturing electrical engines and generators and other power supply devices which have been operating in Bahrain for 15 years.